Hey everybody, I just coded my first vehicle of the year. It has been such a snowy season here in Utah. Obviously you can see there's still a lot of snow behind me, but this Nissan Altima looking really good. Um, anyway, I just finished that job and I'm looking through all my compounds and polishes and I figured I would just show you what I use, what I think of it, and uh, when I use it. So I'm just unloading the Tundra uh, after the job here and, and I have my, my ammo can with all my compounds and polishes. So I wanted to show you uh, some of the things that are in my arsenal. First of all, say what you want about Optimum. I think they make really solid products that are perfectly acceptable for the professional. And this Nectar of the God stuff is insane. Optimum Hyper Polish, does it have some fillers in it? Probably a little bit. But uh, I love the fact that you do not have to tape anything off. This is not stain trim. This works really well and it saves you a ton of time without needing to tape things off. All right, I'm gonna tell you something you absolutely need tape for. You absolutely are gonna get dust with and that will give you absolutely insane deep defect removal. M101, Eron or Aaron Knox with Red's Detail told me about this stuff. Professional foam cut compound, and yet it works exceptionally well uh, with uh, microfiber cutting discs from Meguiar's or Rupes as well. Um, M101 is the compound that I've found that will give you the most cut. Uh, and if you try that with a microfiber pad, uh, cutting a cutting pad, I wouldn't uh, try that first. But if you're, if you're all out of options and you try that and you can't get results with it, um, that's about as far as the, the DA dual action polishing system, I think can take you as far as defect removal. Um, you know, you have to play around with, uh, arm, arm speed and, and, uh, pressure and machine speed and, and you don't want to burn the paint, but, uh, this stuff is amazing. So right now, these are a couple of favorites for me because this I know is not going to leave any staining at all on trim. This is gonna be messy, but achieve amazing results. Um, let me go through some of the, the Rupes compounds and polishes, because I went and got trained by Rupes, and they say they've scienced out everything when it comes to uh, their system. It's, it's not just the machines, it's also the pads. So uh, what I kind of learned at class is this is kind of what, what the basics you wanna start out with. This is like their compound, and this is their polish. Um, the compound definitely works. You can use it with their blue or yellow foam, although they do recommend like for their wool pad, you know, use yellow with the yellow pad and blue with the blue uh, pad. The blue is a little bit, you know, more coarse, gonna have heavier cut. And uh, you know, this is kind of that polishing step. You'd use the yellow with the yellow. So everything's all scienced out. Um, I like this fine. Um, I probably like this compound a little bit more. I'd say as far as my favorite compounds right now, it's probably M101. And then um, I would say this probably tied with uh, Jessicar Correcting Compound. Um, this is really nice for like a one step. Um, I think Scott with Dallas Paint Correction told me about it. Correcting compound on a yellow pad and you'd be surprised the amount of defect removal. A yellow pad from Rupes or an orange uh, Lake Country HDO pad. You'd be surprised uh, the nice combination of cut and finish you can get with a Jeskar Correcting Compound. Um, I bought Jeskar Micro Finishing Polish as well. I use it occasionally. I don't have a ton of experience with it. I guess the jury's still out. It hasn't changed my life, but like it took me a while to really fall in love with Hyper Polish. So I, I'm not going to say this is good or bad. It's just it just exists. Um, HD Speed. This is really nice with like a microfiber. Um, cutting disc, you, you can achieve really good results as far as like a one-step correction, gloss enhancement, leave a little protection behind. Um, I tried Car Pro Clear Cut, um, as I try to shake it there, Rapid Cut Compound. The interesting thing about this particular compound is uh, it wants you to go kind of in, in the opposite of what you uh, normally would do. It says use minimal pressure for the first two to three passes and then increase pressure after each pass. And you wanna finish with heaviest pressure. So a lot of people will kind of start heavy and then kind of like back out as they polish. But Clear Cut wants you to go the opposite direction. I don't know if I've just not figured this stuff out yet. I would say it and uh, Micro Finishing Polish are a couple products that I rarely ever use. Uh, I guess this is 
a sign that I do like Rubens because I, I bought some of their stuff twice. Um, this is Perfect Finish from Sonax. This is a fantastic finishing polish with some cut. Um, it uh, It's definitely ideal for like one step. Most people watching this probably have already um, used it and know everything about it. Um, HD Speed and Sonax Perfect Finish are, are kind of staples in the detailing industry uh, and for a reason. This stuff is expensive for a reason. Uh, sometimes finishing can be difficult, especially on darker paint like black paint. Um, and that is certainly a good option to have in your arsenal. Jeskar, I was wondering where this was. This stuff is amazing, you guys. Uh, put this on a black pad. You're not trying to work it in. Like you're not correcting anything, you're just trying to apply this. So you wouldn't even need a pad. You could use a little microfiber applicator. A pad on a machine goes a little bit faster, but you just want to spread it out. It's a polymer sealant, protects the surface, deep wet finish. I think it does have fillers in it. And you know what? Fillers can be a beautiful thing. Because when your car looks amazing, it's like getting a haircut. You know it's gonna get dirty or it's gonna grow out, whatever. So don't don't even worry. If it looks good, feel happy. Uh, so next, Cut Max in my search for the perfect compound. I'm glad I didn't buy a ton of this. Like I said, I mean, there were a lot of these compounds that I felt like just don't have the huge Herculean muscles that I need. And that's why I'm saying, if you really need to cut something down, if you need to just mow it down, M101's fantastic. And here it looks like I got some stone or trim shine, which is not for paint correction. So this is my arsenal. I've heard really good things about Angel Wax. Um, what have you used that has truly been a game changer for you? What have you used that has truly been a game changer for you? Please comment below because I don't want to keep spending money on stuff. I think I have a pretty good arsenal, but there's always another product, right? Have a great day, guys.